Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us, Saint Joseph, Pray for us, Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us, San Roque. Pray for us, San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us, San Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we bring before the altar of the Lord everything that fills our hearts. In thanksgiving to God, we offer everything to Him today. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac and two of his servants as well, and with the wood that he had cut for the burnt offering, set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, Both of you stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go on over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, Here are the fire and the wood. But where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yireh. Hence people now say, On the mountain the Lord will see. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing, all this because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, where Abraham made his home. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, 
but to your name give glory because of your kindness, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, Where is their God? I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Our God is in heaven. Whatever He wills, He does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of man. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Their Maker shall be like them, everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there, people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven? or to say, Rise and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ngayong araw po, ang unang araw ng buwan ng Hulyo, tayo po ay uh, nakalagpas na sa uh, ikalawang bahagi ng taon na ito. Many people will try to say today and pray to God to bless this month of July. But as we begin this uh, month, entering into this uh, second part of the year, let us imitate the example of our two readings today. The two readings today tell us of their offering to God in the altar of God. And I think as we enter this month, this is what we should do. We should lay everything at the altar of God. We should lay everything at the feet of our Lord. First, in our Gospel reading today, we see the people bringing 
the paralytic on a stretcher at the feet of Jesus so that Jesus could heal the paralytic man. My dear brothers and sisters, like the people in the gospel reading, let us lay at the feet of Jesus whatever is lacking in us, whatever is paralyzed in us, whatever is wounded within us. Let us lay all of them at the feet of Jesus so that Jesus could heal us. Sa Ebanghelyo po ay nakita natin kung paanong ang mga tao ay inilagay ang isang paralitiko. Ang kanyang pagkukulang sa kanyang katawan ay hindi siya makalakad. Kaya nang dinala ang paralitiko kay Jesus, pinuno niya ang kakulangan at nakalakad ito. Ano man po ang kulang sa ating buhay ngayong buwan na ito, ilagay natin sa paanan ni Jesus, sa harapan ni Jesus. At sigurado tayong ito ay kanyang pupunuin muli. Ang ating kakulangan ay kanyang pupunuin. Ang ating mga karamdaman ay kanyang pagagalingin. Whatever is lacking in us, let us put in front of Jesus. But at the same time, in our first reading today, Abraham, on the other hand, offered to God not what is lacking in him, but what fills him. Iaalay po natin ngayong araw kung ano man ang ating mga kakulangan, ilalapit natin kay Jesus, pero sa unang pagbasa rin naman ay nakikita natin na inialay naman ni Abraham ano naman yung blessing na natanggap niya sa Diyos. At yan ay ang kanyang kaisa-isang anak, si Isaak. We offer to God what is lacking in us, but we also offer to God today what fills our lives with joy, what blessings that fill our lives. Those are the two things that we need to offer to God this first day of July. First, like in the Gospel, let us put in front of the altar of Jesus whatever is lacking in us. But at the same time, we also offer at the altar of God, like Abraham, the blessings that truly fill our lives with joy. And when we are able to offer this in front of God, then as Abraham said in our first reading today, God will provide. And so in this Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, as we enter into the liturgy of the Eucharist, when we offer the bread later, when we offer the wine in the chalice, as the priest lifts up the host and the chalice, please be one with your heart. Offer to Jesus what needs healing in you. Offer to Jesus what needs forgiveness in you. And also offer to God in the altar of Jesus whatever fills you with joy. And then we will be able also to say like Abraham, God will always provide. Amen. Please stand with all the trust of the paralytic's friends. Let us bring to the Lord the needs and miseries of the church and of the world. 
for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church of God may be constantly at work in carrying out Christ's saving mission through the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That priests who celebrate the sacrament of reconciliation may always show compassion and understanding to the penitents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may always be ready to forgive others, realizing that this is the shared duty of all who follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may find comfort and hope in their sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all those who have died may share in Christ's eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, Grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.